This is James from 852 Recordings, all things video and audio production. For this video, we're going to be showing you how to do a screen pump using DaVinci Resolve. Uh, this is maybe useful in things like where there's music, like music videos, and you just want the screen to be pumping as the beats are hitting. So let's get straight into it. So first thing you want to do is you want to click and highlight the clip that you're going to be editing. And you want to find the point where you want the screen to, to pump. So in my case, I want it to hit. Every time you hear a kick drum, I want that screen to kind of pump in and out. So let's find a kick drum right there. So there's one. Okay, so I'll just start from here. So that's the point where I'd want the, it to start. And what you want to do is zoom right in, get the cursor brushed at the place where you'd want the first zoom edit to happen. So what you want to do is over in the top corner, you click Inspector, and then you will find a tab called Transform. So you scroll scroll down, let's transform. Make sure you're on the video tab here, and then uh, scroll down, and here you have Transform. So the first point is right here. I'll just come up to the zoom area, and I'll create a keyframe. So the first point is here. I'll come up to the top and I'll create as a keyframe. using the arrow key and I will then zoom in to say 15 is my preference 115 I'll press it another two times forward two frames forward and then I'll move that back to the start point which is 1.00 okay so now if I zoom to the end of the video clip at the end you have a little diamond uh, sign click that and it will show you the automations that you have just punched in if you zoom in so you have the in point the middle and the out so right here is where it zooms okay now the great thing about it is so long as your song is in the same tempo and the beats are hitting around the same point um you can use the waveform to look, but it is best to listen um, as these these transients could be bass only and not kick and bass. And then you'll be having pumping on a point that you don't, don't want it to. So what you want to do is just highlight these three dots. And there's the next beat point. So you find the next beat point, highlight the three dots, hold alt and just drag it along and put place the middle dot which is the pump point at where the kick drum is. Okay, you might want to zoom in again for that, just for, for precision. This seems to be in a pretty good. Let's see what happens now. As you can see, that worked pretty nicely. Now, again, you just highlight the two edits that you've made and you can drag that along to new points. So let's see what happens now. Don't you do that. Okay, so I misjudged. I wasn't listening. I just, this is why I say it's better to listen because then you can actually hear where the kick's going to drop. So, Don't you do that. so there's two kicks here. Bomb, bomb. So I want to just maybe create a double pump here. So I'll drag those together. Don't you do that. No. Like, see that? Don't you do that. No. Nice. Okay. Um, of course, you can. Um, make them you know land them exactly where you want but for the purpose of this video i'm just making it roughly the area so i'm just going to again highlight the lot drag this out and you can quickly see how you can edit the whole video just using this technique because once you set like i said if it's, the t if it's the same tempo throughout you can just copy and drag along to the points that you want and then just listen and and delete points that you don't want and you'll have very quickly you get the drift so if you found this useful please like comment also if you have an easier way of doing this please drop it in the comments i'd love to hear your viewpoints and signing out make sure you subscribe to the channel see you on the next video bye don't kill my vibe